Hello everybody, my name is Sean Alexander Zone, and welcome back to Founding Paradise. So yes, oh yes, it's going to be a beautiful day once again. Uh, oh yeah, so we did all this last time, and we're going to have to make this. And again, two more uh, mementos. If you guys do want to see more of Founding Paradise, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Okay, where are we now? We're in the... Oh, um... He's moving in, I guess. Um, are we back at the old, old age period again? Well, sort of. He just moved in here. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We there are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm. I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. The heck? With all our with all our patience, we begin. We began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time. Uh, everything just went as normal. But then we somehow got slingshotted. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back to the older times where we left off. Then to the earlier ones again moving forward. And once more to the older time moving backward. These jumps aren't in random order and nor do they just form an, just any pattern. It's the pattern of decaying of a decaying orbit. Oh! It's as if we're almost being pulled in, sprawling toward a gravitational center. Ah! A gravitational center, huh? An appropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentleman? I don't know, maybe it is a memory of that sort, but maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What else could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and there's never been a memory that's done, that's done this. Oh, really? Alright, I guess at least this... One isn't routine then. Hmm, we'll see. Hey, right, so now with that, with that being said, there, uh, I'm gonna make this just a, uh, just one uh, episode uh, of just one memento because I don't have enough space on my computer, and because I recorded, I pre-recorded the hour and thirty-minute video of um of the fourth Minecraft Earth survival yesterday. All right. One bedroom with with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in the apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, babe. <coughs> yeah, but this unit is on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Here, have a brochure. Bro, sure, I'll get that from you, Dad. Alright. Sorry, that was a bad pun. Alright. Um. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you notice that it hasn't had one fire accident. Jeez. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burned down, being an apartment and all. My god. Uh, I mean, of course, it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um, fire safety is very important. Sure. Sure it is. And you're making them feel like they shouldn't buy the place. Alright, so the book wasn't here. No, it's not here yet. Alright. Can we talk with you people? Can we talk? Thank you. An attic in an apartment. It's a. Isn't it amazing? No. I think this... Floors, otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. 
If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Thanks. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. <laughs> I know. <coughs> That's funny. Okay. Let's see. I think where I'm going to go next is over here. Right? Balcony? Oh no, it's this side. Keep reading that. Ah. And as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. Wow. Cool. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but if you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't, though. You'd fall off. Okay, on we go. God, Fred. My God, Frederick. Something else that you want to say, huh? No? No more things you want to say? I didn't get a memory from that, but sure. Okay, then. So, what do you think? Well, it's... It is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help at all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. Or like ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. So, um, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope but with, but I promise I... Stop talking, we'll take it. Mm hmm Finally, Jesus. I know, this should be the, the final scene over here. The final countdown. You said you're a, mus a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. You have all the stuffs. What just happened? Is that, is that all? Also, be careful with those stairs, but you all seem to have rocket hips, so no problem there. Which stairs? These stairs? Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm guessing the paper airplane is the thing. Yep. Huh. This... Wasn't this just a brochure a minute ago? A moment ago? And I guess he just folded it with the issue. Well, if I'm guessing right... There you go. I guess too well. Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without a scene. Huh. In any case... At least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. Yeah, me neither, Ava. See this? Boom. 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 Did it. Alright, now let's do some Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Oh man, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh. I think. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that either. Okay, well, it has to be something with this, obviously. Uh, why couldn't I just? No, I can't. Man, that's that's really triggering. Um. <laughs> Oh man, that should work, right? Yay! Yeah, we got another paper airplane. Nice. Okay then. Uh, do we want to end up this episode? I guess we do, because it's pretty, pretty short. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the eighth episode of um, Finding Paradise. If you guys want to see more, remember to leave a like. Subscribe, all that fantabulous stuff. Um, and yeah. 
I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm sorry that this video was so short, but it just had to be. Anyways, bye.